Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are launching our infrared observatory next month, but before we do so, I want to take a look at diplomacy and I want to see what our competitors are up to. So if we take a look at the US, they are launching the space station in 15 months and they recently did orbital EVA and they're researching Apollo, Jesus. They are far behind. Uh, the Soviet Union we're neutral with. Uh, they're launching the Mars lander. They did the space station and they're researching the space telescope. For China, they are launching the Uranus flyby and they did the Mars lander. They are our closest competitor and also the ones that we are actually competing with the most. And then Japan is launching the space telescope. They did the Jupiter flyby and they're researching Neptune flyby. Okay. So Neptune flyby, we haven't even researched yet. Uh, it's here. Now, what does this give us? Pluto flyby. Okay. So, but right now we're doing the Mars prep research because we have the 50% reduction in costs and we don't have time to do the, the, the payload because we're not getting enough science. We're not getting enough science for the Mars prep either, but I am hoping that with the infrared telescope or infrared observatory, we will get enough science for it. So yeah, we have a, the reduction for three months. So we launch this this month. It has an experimental payload. We have not very good reliability on that. Very good launch reliability though. And let's see what kind of science we get out of it. Oh, that's bad conditions, but we only have a 3% risk of a critical failure. So let's go because we need that science to come in this month. Nothing good. It's a big rocket. It's a huge rocket. It's looking good so far. Looking good. No. Damn it. 3% risk of going boom, and we went boom. Damn it. That kills our chance of getting that, and that was an expensive launch, man. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That sucked. We are launching the Tethered Mars mini rover next month, but I don't think we get any science for that next month. Damn! So, where was this request mission? Infrared Observatory. We can do the Jupiter Orbiter. That's not a bad mission, and we would do it first. <sighs> Where was that mission? Is it gone? I guess it's gone. Another experimental payload. Man, I can't believe we blew up there. Damn it. That really... really ruins our plans because now we definitely won't get this 
Oh, well, we maybe. Maybe. Well, we need to launch a mission. And I think we go for the Jupiter orbiter. Let's do it. We'll give it some extra power. Can't believe that happened. 75% expected reliability. That's okay. All right. Well, on to next month, I guess. Man, that was unfortunate. Dude. Control systems check. Vehicle complete. Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed. That's a very good launch reliability. And our tethered Mars mini rover is ready. I wouldn't mind get. Well, we, we can't. It's as reliable as it gets because we're launching right now. So let's do it. Let's hope this goes better. Weather looks better. We have a 1% chance of critical failure. Come on. So this is Dinky Bernard we are sending into space. Because the tethered Mars mini rover was named after, after Dinky Bernard in honor of her. Come on, go, go, go. Don't blow up. Thank you. All right, secure launch. This is as reliable as it gets. Okay. Let's see. We need 10 comms, 15 thrust. And uh, we have a nice... Um, flexibility in our drift plus minus two so we need to hit this four times on the last turn which means that we need to have eight data and we actually need to have 14 comms before the last turn okay that's fine I guess the only way to bring our drift back is this thing All right. So how about we do a low energy radiation scan and then we do two ground control connections. And then we do a cosmic dust analysis. That takes us to six comms, four and one. We have four turns, four commands per turn. Let's do it with a reasonably reliable payload. Yeah, of course I said that. Uh, let's resist it. Nice. An, an additional two data modules. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. I am thinking... that we do a signal return test and a data transmission. Then we do a manual thrust adjustment to bring our drift back. That gives us 9, 6, and 4. And then we do a another data transmission, bringing us to 13, 5, and 3, and within bounds, but barely. Okay, and that went awry. Let's resist it. We will cost an additional. That's okay. I can accept that. Damn it. We'll resist that. And that brings us to one. 
Okay, we have two turns remaining, so we need to have what we need for this by the end of this turn. So... Why don't we do one of these? That actually takes us there. Because we need 8 and we need 14. Then we can just recharge power three times. And then we'll do the calculated burn four times next turn. Yeah. Nice. And then one, two, three, four. That gives us our 15% bonus reward. We have the ability to resist all of them. We could let one of them go, but why? When we can resist. Okay. 50% bonus reward achieved. Very good. And we get 92 science for four months, 492 support. And this is the last month that we get this, so we won't. Ah, uh, we will. We will just get it, get it, I think. Let's see, control systems te test. We need a pilot. Uh, let's do our electrician and our training will be I think payload reliability and then our launch day will be January take that up to actually uh, let's do January if it's shitty weather then then we'll do March Right. Next month. And Mars prep sample retrieval research complete. Okay. Retrieving sa a sample of the Martian surface would provide an incredible opportunity for science to perform scientists to perform detailed analysis that would otherwise be impossible. This technically ambitious mission will involve sending a lander to Mars to collect rock and dust samples, which will be returned to Earth by a specialized ascent rocket. Cool. All right, well, we did that, uh, and we actually have sample retrieval first, which would give us three months. Uh, so let's research this. Cost 10,000. Does anyone have modular space station three yet? No. All right. I think we'll do the Mars prep then. All right. Uh, next phase of Venus orbit is next month, and we're launching control systems check in two months. We have five active missions. Okay, Venus orbit is ready. Let's do it. Continue that. And this is our final final phase, I'm pretty sure. Uh, achieve Venus orbit, yeah. All right, we need to deal with heat. We get plus three heat every turn. So... Why don't we have five turns, three commands per turn? Let's do a location extrapolation, then a infrared mapping, and then and we need 12, 8, and 12. Let's do a... Let's do a gyroscopic stabilization, giving us three, one, and four for this turn. 
and one heat. That's fine. Our payload isn't the best, but I think we'll get there. Let's resist that. And we get three heat, so we're up to four, which basically means that we can do this twice, which I want to do. And then do a gyroscopic stabilization, taking us to six, five, and three. Good. Perfect. Then I think I want to pay two power and a data for six nav. And then pay one data and one nav for five. comms and then pay three comms for three and two that takes us to eight six and ten with three turns remaining we should be fine uh, we'll resist that All right, and that takes us up to five heat. So we need to deal with heat this turn. Which we can by doing that. We could do that twice and then do one of these. That takes us to 11, 10 and nine and one heat. Then we can do the gyroscopic stabilization next time, giving us everything that we need and the ability to recharge our batteries a bit. Okay, this is going well. And so gyroscopic stabilization gives us all of the data, comms, and nav that we need. We get our 50% bonus reward, and we have tons of power. So let's just resist that. And there we go. Mars orbit achieved. Very nice, or not Mars orbit, Venus orbit. We did it fourth, so it's not great, but a little extra support and 515 science for 10 months. That's not half bad. That's not half bad. All right, we have a new moon mission. Far side of the moon. It's not that interesting, is it? I mean, if we could get Japan up to being friendly, that would be kind of nice. But uh, let's just click here. We've seen that. Mars, there are no missions. Jupiter, we're already planning. Uranus, we're already planning. Well, we, we're already finished. Or what? Did we, did we launch Uranus? We launched Uranus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next phase is in three years and 11 months. That's insane. We're building the Jupiter Orbiter. Um, let's... Let's do the Japan mission here. Oh, we are already doing that. So I guess it's solar wind monitoring. That kind of sucks. Let's give it the extra power. 
All right, we're launching the control systems check next month and we have funding review next month. We're not quite there, but almost. We'll definitely get it next year. We've got a good bit of support. All right. Control systems check is go for launch. Uh, payload reliability is horrendous. But our launch reliability is fantastic. So 1%. Let's go. Don't blow up. I do like the look of the European Space Shuttle. I think it looks cool. Go, go, go! Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all good. Secure launch. Hermes is super reliable. And we have achieve Earth orbit. All right, we need to deal with heat. Plus three heat per turn. We only have one astronaut. So we'll use that astronaut to get two data. Then we'll use the two data to get ground control connection. And we have four turns, three commands per turn. Then we need nine and 11 for the bonus reward. No data needed. And I think I'll do a signal return test, use a power to get some extra comms without spending anything else. We will resist this because we need it. Man, the payload reliability here is horrible. All right, four and two. And we get some more heat. Let's spend this guy here again. Actually, let's spend the one power and get two nav as well. Then we can do a ground control connection, which gives us two and two. And... Mm. I think I'll recharge once. We're gonna need all the power we can get. Alright, so we're six and six. Okay. We have two turns remaining. So I don't need to worry about heat, really. So it's all a matter of getting three comms and 11 or five navs. So if we spend a comm on that, then we spend a comm here, and then we spend a data and a nav here. That takes us to 8 and 10. That seems okay to me. If we don't have to resist too much. Okay. It's hot, but it doesn't matter. Uh, 
Let's just save. I want to check something. I want to make sure that I'm correct in my assumption that heat doesn't matter because I'm suddenly not sure. So we can do this and we can do this and that takes us there and then we can recharge once. Let's do that. Assist it and accept it. And we're all good. We are all good and heading home. Very nice. I do love the the shuttle returning. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Nice landing there. It really does look cool. Very nice. And we got the bonus reward. So 590 support, 387 science for four months. And a bit of standing with Japan. And board is recuperating for six months. So how is our relationship with Japan neutral? I guess we need to get to 100 to be friendly. We are doing quite good science. We want to do solar wind monitoring, not really. I guess we'll do far side of the moon with another experimental payload. Which will leave standard because we can't do power and I don't want to reduce its reliability further. So let's select that, build payload, and next month where we'll complete the SRO 2B and we'll have the next phase of the Tethered Mars Mini Rover. Alright, Tethered Mars Mini Rover or Dinky Bernard is ready for the next phase. And the solar wind monitoring payload is complete. Uh, I forgot that we were already doing it. We'll just select the cheapest that we can get. We have no upgrade points, so this will just be it. 67,000, two months to build, pretty reliable. Build that. And then we have our tethered Mar Mars mini rover. This is the second phase, the mid course adjustment. And we need 11, 11, and 5. So we need to hit this twice on the last turn. We have four turns and four commands per turn. So we need 4 and 2 which means that we need to be at 15 and 9. All right. Mm. Let's do a ranging uplink. Then we can do a manual thrust adjustment. A packet transfer and a data compression. That gives us two zero, but nine comms, which we can then spend on hitting this three times next turn. Yeah, I think I like that. Come on. Resist it. Oh, just. Nice. An extra comms. That gives us ten comms then. Okay. So we can hit this three times, giving us five and twelve. And then I think 
I want to hit a data compression. We have to remember that we need two of them for the last turn. Dang it. I will resist it. And accept that. And definitely accept that. Alright, so we're at 5 and 11. So I am actually thinking that we hit this twice and then recharge twice. Then we can hit this two times on the last turn. Or we only have two power to resist with though. So let's do this. That's more than enough of everything. Well, it's not more than enough uh, comms, but it's enough comms that we can hit this twice, get our bonus, and just recharge twice. 50% bonus reward. Achieved. That will assist that. And there we go. Mid-course maneuver complete. That's a little more science and some support. And then what do we have for missions? Uh, we don't have any missions and we don't have any mission slots. So it's fine. We're already doing that one. We're already doing Uranus. We're, we need more missions soon. Alright, Pioneer and Galileo are complete next month. So let's continue on. The Jupiter Orbiter is complete. The Galileo. Plus 25 support reward. Minus 10% payload reliability. Mm. And the Pioneer for the far side of the moon, the tiny little thing and tiny little mission. Okay. Well, let's start with far side of the moon. Uh, well, I did not mean to double click there. Let's select Jupiter. It's cheaper. And it takes the same amount of time. Then we can do the Jupiter again. And we have two points. So we can do advanced shock absorption to get a little bit more reliable. And do we want to do any of this? Not really, I think. No, we'll just build it in-house, build vehicle, and then we'll do the Jupiter Orbiter vehicle, which gives us the support reward. This is going to have to be the Athena. It's the only one that can do it, so Athena it is. And then I don't think we need the Saturn V. We can do it with the Titan III. We can even do it with the Delta IV. No, Titan III is cheaper, so why not do it with that? Two times Titan III C booster, booster is on the side, but we don't need it. And it's reasonably reliable. Let's confirm that. Build that vehicle. Oh, I forgot. Damn it. I forgot all about the upgrades. Dang it. All right. Well, that is a mistake on my part. Uh, we don't have any mission slots, no. Then we have the transcendental complete now. The sonar, solar wind monitoring vehicle. Tiny little thing. 
Let's do launch preparations. We'll do science training. We'll do May. And we'll confirm that mission setup. We have a new mission somewhere at Jupiter. A request mission. Galilean moons fly by. Ooh. It's challenging, but it's nice. 21 months, though. But it's nice. What? Uh, Soviet Union completed phase one of Saturn flyby. Triana completed phase one of Jupiter flyby. All right. Nothing too interesting happening. But anyway, we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.